we've managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We've already sent humans to live in space and to the moon. We've developed massive and very sophisticated telescopes that have been able to reach some of the most remote places in space. Many organisations have decided to take it a step further. The European Space Agency, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and NASA have been working very hard to find if we're completely alone. Today we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for signs of intelligent life. Despite our efforts we are still yet to make contact, and scientists still have no idea what could be out there. The number of known star systems and alien worlds keeps on expanding, but our creative methods of listening to space have revealed some interesting discoveries. So today we take a look at some of these recent space discoveries. Jupiter's Aurora Whenever something mysterious is discovered in space people get excited. This is usually because people link it to life outside of our planet. An image released by NASA shows what appears to be a green anomaly on the edge of the planet. As you can imagine many people got excited by this discovery. It soon spread through websites and people began to give their opinion for what it could be. One person had this to say. There are many photographs out there showing these kinds of anomalies. For some reason you can always find them on the outside of the planet. It almost looks as if it's hovering. However there's thought to be a more logical explanation. Some have come forward and said that it's the aurora of Jupiter. Scientists have described it as being one of the most impressive auroras our galaxy has to offer. The first radio broadcast. Though its influence in history has been astounding, the small broadcasting device we know as the radio has not been around for very long. In fact, its inventor Nikola Tesla did not first conceive of the device until 1885. Despite the young age of the device, it was made apparent that Mr. Tesla was far ahead of his own time. When first coming up with his invention, he was the only inventor of his time to be made aware of the electromagnetic spectrum and the ability to tap into its powers and uses. Oddly enough, Tesla wrote extensively in his notes that when he made the first radio capable of receiving and broadcasting his signal, he could hear another person's voice on the other side. This was made only more eerie as Tesla wrote that this voice was that of a man calling out his name, saying Tesla 123 over and over again before the signal cut out entirely. Many researchers speculate this signal could have been nothing more than background radiation misinterpreted. However, many believe that perhaps something far more creepy could have been going on in the background. No explanation for this strange occurrence has been provided, and still many more speculate that perhaps Nikola Tesla made contact with something not quite human, ranging from extraterrestrials to time travellers. Mystery Rock Going back a few years ago, a strange rock was discovered inside a quarry in Sweden. It's been estimated by researchers the rock itself is over 470 million years old. It's been found that this stone contains components that are not found on Earth. The section of rock has been named O65, and it's thought to have come from a shooting star that was around 12 to 19 miles wide. Interestingly, the researchers think it most likely collided with something bigger, suggesting the other body was 62 to 93 miles wide. The bigger body is thought to have spread debris close to Jupiter and Mars. What makes the meteorite so unique is that it features grains of crystals known as spinels. Not only that, but these haven't been found on other meteorites. This suggests this is an entirely new type of meteorite. This material had sunk to the bottom of the ocean floor. The scientist's next step was trying to determine where this object came from. By doing so, it could give us an idea how life would have looked like 470 million years ago. One of the researchers said the following. If we see that changes in the asteroid belt correlate with changes in Earth's biosphere or climate, 
then there is probably a connection and we will be able to better tie Earth's history to the history of the solar system. More research is currently being carried out. Moonquakes Earth's moon was formed around 4.6 billion years ago, and it's always in synchronous rotation with Earth, meaning that we always see the same side of the moon. The first unmanned mission to the moon was in 1959 by the Soviet lunar program, with the first manned landing being Apollo 11 in 1969. Due to its size and composition, the moon is sometimes classified as a terrestrial planet, along with Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. In the summer of 1994, the moon was very extensively mapped by the little spacecraft Clementine, and again in 1999 by the Lunar Prospector. In recent years, there has been a special interest in the dark side of the moon. This popular term refers to the fact that the same physical half of the moon is always facing Earth, which in turn means there's a dark side. Recently, NASA scientists have come forward and said they've discovered something interesting about our moon. They've said that it's shrinking and shaking. They've said that their studies have shown that the inside of the moon has shriveled up, and that deep cliffs can be found all over its surface. What's interesting is that this recent study suggests the moon could still be shrinking. The researchers have also come forward and said the moon's surface crust is brittle, and that due to the moon shrinking it's starting to break the surface. One of the senior scientists at NASA said the following about the discovery. Our analysis gives the first evidence that these faults are still active, and likely producing moonquakes today as the moon continues to gradually cool and shrink. Some of these quakes can be fairly strong, around 5 on the Richter scale. The scientists have also been using high detailed images to help the discovery of other faults. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter camera has snapped over 3,500 images and these have helped scientists to understand what's going on on the surface of the moon. Some photographs in particular have shown them there are bright patches and scraps on certain terrains. These small details are showing the researchers that recent quakes have happened on the moon. These moonquakes can last up to an hour, and have been known to send boulders rolling down cliff slopes. One researcher said that around 20 to 30% of the moonquakes were likely generated by build-up energy from these faults, and that they didn't think this happened from natural occurring space debris like asteroids. NASA scientists have said they're keeping a close eye on the seismic shaking. This recent discovery was published in the journal Nature Geoscience. Enceladus Humans have managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We've already sent humans to live in space and we've developed massive and very sophisticated telescopes. Now space agencies are looking at sending people to Mars and this could happen within the next few years. Something researchers are intrigued by is Saturn's moon Enceladus. It's been put forward that this moon may be able to support life. Something that scientists announced a little while back is that Enceladus is the brightest world in our solar system. The theory that this moon though is capable of hosting life is what has intrigued scientists. This claim comes after researchers suggested that its ocean is over 1 billion years old, further saying this is a sweet spot. NASA reported at the 2019 Astrobiology Science Conference that that time frame is long enough there to be life. One of the research scientists said the following, In the scenario that best matches the real moons, the ocean of Enceladus is around 1 billion years old. That's good news for life. It should have had enough time to arise and there should still be enough energy to power it. Cassini was a spacecraft who arrived in the Saturn system back in 2001. It made 127 flybys of Titan and 23 flybys of Enceladus. The Cassini mission ended on the 15th of September 2017, and this was due to loss of contact. After making these flybys though, Cassini gave researchers an incredible insight into how the moon is doing. It's not the airless, icy body as it was previously assumed. The detection of the thermal infrared and the four tiger stripe fracture means that Enceladus heats up from the inside out. 
It's believed the friction caused by the gravitational forces of Saturn has been affecting the heating of Enceladus. On our planet, hydrothermal vents are filled with organisms we cannot see anywhere else. With some scientists saying there are whole worlds in these vents that many of us have never seen before. This could be what's happening on Enceladus. Researchers have said there is evidence of hydrothermal vents on the sea floor of Enceladus. Hydrothermal vents usually form at locations where magma and seawater meet. Water runs down the cracks right into the core, where it's heated and then comes back out again. Just like Europa, Enceladus is also believed to have a global ocean found under its icy surface. All of the data collected related to Enceladus points to the fact it really does have the three ingredients required for life. It seems that scientists are one step closer to finding life in our very own solar system. Our solar system is tiny when compared to the rest of the universe, and it makes you wonder what else could be out there. So what do you think of these strange and mysterious space discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us grow this community. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.